Welcome to Captivating Sicily, a Mediterranean gem known for breathtaking landscapes and rich history. Located between Greek temples and Roman ruins, a deeper image emerges when we learn of the island's reputation as Europe's most dangerous. Mount Etna's fiery presence and the legacy of the Mafia contribute to this perception. Yet Sicily's allure goes beyond just danger. Its mouth-watering cuisine and vibrant culture create a pleasant blend. Join us on a journey where ancient history, natural wonders, and vibrant culture come together to unveil an unforgettable European destination. 1. Perched at the heart of the Mediterranean, Sicily is known as Europe's most strategically located island. The island's captivating landscape stretches over 1,000 kilometers of mesmerizing coastline, adorned with picturesque beaches and hidden coves. 2. The ancient Greeks, Romans, Arabs, Normans, and Spanish have all left their mark on Sicilian culture, resulting in a fascinating blend of architectural styles, traditions, and languages. The Roman Via del Casale in Piazza Armarina boasts mosaics that portray scenes from everyday life during the Roman period, providing insight into the luxurious lifestyles of the time. Palermo's architecture reflects Arab influence, with the Palazzo dei Normanni featuring stunning Byzantine mosaics alongside Islamic architectural elements like arches and domes. 3. The Sicilian Mafia, known as Casa Nostra, has deeply influenced the island's history, culture, and society. Members of the organization often refer to it as Casa Nostra, while the American government refers to it as La Casa Nostra. The name of the organization is derived from the original Mafia or Casa Nostra, the Sicilian Mafia, with American Mafia originally referring simply to Mafia groups from Sicily operating in the United States, as the organization first emerged as an offshoot of the Sicilian Mafia, also known as Casa Nostra by its members, formed by Italian immigrants in the United States. 4. One of the most charming festivals in Sicily is the Scala in Fiorata in Caltagirone, where a grand staircase is adorned with colorful flower mosaics, creating an enchanting floral carpet. As part of a centuries-old tradition, locals craft these vibrant masterpieces, adding to the town's artistic allure. The dazzling array of colors and intricate designs come together, entice visitors from around the world to witness this captivating floral spectacle. 5. The Maxi Trial, Italian Maxi Processo, was a criminal trial against the Sicilian Mafia that took place in Palermo, Sicily. The trial lasted from 10 February 1986 to 30 January 1992 and was held in a bunker-style courthouse specifically constructed for this purpose inside the walls of the Uziardoni prison. 6. The stunning Acolian Islands off the northern coast of Sicily are a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for their volcanic origin, beautiful beaches, and crystal clear waters. 7. In Palermo, it's illegal to shout Madonna, a common Italian exclamation, in public places. Offenders can face a fine, but locals often joke about how challenging it is to enforce this law. 8. The Sicilian Puppet Theater, known as Opera del Pupi, is a traditional form of entertainment with colorful wooden puppets portraying knights and historical characters in epic battles. 9. To become a full member of the Mafia or Casa Nostra, an aspiring member must participate in an initiation ritual or ceremony. The ceremony includes significant ritual, oaths, and blood, as well as an agreement to follow the Mafia's rules as presented to the inductee. The first account of the ceremony is from 1877 in Sicily. 10. Savor Sicily's culinary gem, the cannoli, a crispy pastry filled with sweet ricotta cheese, often adorned with chocolate chips. With roots dating back to ancient times, it's a luscious mark of the island's delicate yet delicious palate. As you explore, let this treat push you into a sweet journey through Sicily's flavors. 11. In the interesting city of Messina, there's a funny rule that says you have to pay money if you forget to flush a toilet after 10 p.m. It's a reminder to be polite to your neighbors. Nobody knows exactly why this rule started, but the people who live there find it funny and like that it encourages good manners. 12. Interesting fact, Salvatore Rina was an Italian mobster and chief of the Sicilian Mafia, known for a ruthless slaying campaign that reached a peak in the early 1990s with the slayings of anti-mafia commission prosecutors Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino. It resulted in a widespread public outcry and a major crackdown by the authorities. He was also known as El Capo de Capi, the boss of bosses, and La Belva, the beast. 13. Sicily is renowned for its fresh and delectable seafood dishes such as spaghetti alla vangole, spaghetti with clams, and pesca spada, swordfish. 14. Experience the Scala del Turchi in Real Monte, a stunning white rock formation resembling a natural staircase. It's a haven for sunbathing and unforgettable sunsets. 
Shaped by wind and sea over centuries, the smooth limestone cliffs meet the azure Mediterranean waters. 15. Every year, Sicilians hold a wacky limoncello slip-and-slide event, where participants slide down lemon-infused slides into inflatable pools filled with limoncello liqueur. 16. In the village of Sutera, you can't take a photo of a person without his permission, but no one knows why this law was ever put into place. 17. A number of best-selling books, television series, and award-winning films were born from the fascination with the Sicilian Mafia's organization, most notably the Godfather trilogy and The Sopranos. 18. Sicily's captivating coastline, stretching over 1,000 kilometers, is adorned with picturesque beaches and secluded coves. Among them, the famous Mondello Beach near Palermo beckons with its fine white sand, while San Vito Le Capo, nestled against a mountainous backdrop, offers a serene escape. The enchanting Isola Bella Beach in Taormina boasts crystal clear waters and stunning views of the Isola Bella Islet, exemplifying Sicily's coastal allure. 19. Sicily is famous for its vibrant and expressive folk music, featuring traditional instruments like the Marazzano, Jew's Harp, and Scaccia Pensieri, Worry Dolls. 20. Italy's four organized crime syndicates, Sicily's Casa Nostra, Naples Camorra, Calabria's Ndragata, and Puglia's Sacra Corona Unita, form a huge holding company with a total sales turnover of about 130 billion euros and profits approaching 70 billion euros after investments and expenses. They are, in effect, the largest company in Italy. 21. Sicily's countryside is adorned with ancient olive groves, producing some of Italy's finest olive oil. Frontoia, Planeta, and Fratelli Cutrera are just some of the best brands that produce olive oil using the Sicilian's finest. 22. Interestingly, in Taormina, it is prohibited to wear noisy clogs or tap shoes after 10 p.m. 23. Etna is a stratovolcano located in the southern Italian region of Sicily. Right along with the Kilauea, Mount Etna is one of the most active volcanoes on the planet. In 2002, a massive eruption wiped out the ski lift, two hotels, and a series of shops at an altitude of 1,900 meters above sea level. The last recorded eruption took place in December 2021. 24. Every year in Marsala, a quirky wine bath day ritual unfolds, where locals and tourists immerse themselves in barrels brimming with Marsala wine, believing it ushers in good luck and prosperity. This eccentric tradition showcases the island's love affair with wine, especially its renowned Marsala variety. 25. It sounds like a strange experience to look upon the thousands of slowly decaying corpses of the Palermo catacombs, yet this experience brings thousands of tourists to the underground crypt of the Capuchin Monastery in Sicily's capital, Palermo. The Palermo catacombs contain around 1,200 mummies, with the first internment dating back to 1599 AD. The Capuchin monks had run out of room in their cemetery, and they created this underground catacomb to house their own, Brother Silvestro of Gubbio. The catacombs were then used to preserve other members of the Brotherhood, and the monks seemingly did such a good job that in the 18th and 19th centuries, it also became a popular resting place for the wealthy Europeans and Sicily's elite. 26. After the liberation of Sicily in 1943, the Mafia groups gradually reclaimed power. The Allied administration appointed mafioso to public offices, and they later played an important role in the Sicilian separatist movement. They resumed their role as mediators between the state, large landowners, and peasants during the agrarian reform period, which lasted from 1943 to 1950. 27. The island of Favagnana, part of the Agati Archipelago, is famous for its unique sea caves, such as the Grata Azura Blue Grotto with mesmerizing blue waters. 28. In Noto, it's illegal to dance or play music near a church during weddings. 29. 34% of Sicily's vineyards are organic. Sicily is home to more than 65 native varieties. The best known are Grillo, Nero Davola, Catarato, Caracante, Norello Mescalese, and Frappato. Vineyards sit as high as 3,900 feet above sea level. 30. Sicily's Arancina is called Arancino in eastern Sicily, sparking playful debates among locals about the correct name for this beloved treat. 31. The island of Ustica, located off the northern coast of Sicily, stands as a diver's paradise, characterized by its transparent waters and vibrant underwater ecosystem. Divers can explore prime spots like the Punta Gavazzi, where steep cliffs offer a habitat for an array of fish species. The Punta Omomorto area impresses divers with its underwater canyons and captivating marine biodiversity. 32. Sicily holds an annual Gelato Olympics, where gelato artisans compete to create the most creative and delicious gelato flavors ever imagined. 
33. Cultural fact, Sicily is home to various religious relics, including the Holy Propus, allegedly Jesus Christ's foreskin, displayed in the town of Calcutta. 34. In Trapani, it's forbidden to carry breadsticks in your pocket on Sundays, an eccentric law that has its roots in ancient superstitions. 35. The Pani Kanzatu sandwich is a true taste of Sicilian simplicity, featuring locally baked bread topped with olive oil, tomatoes, oregano, anchovies, and cacciovallo cheese. The island is also home to a unique and acquired taste known as Pani Kamusa. This traditional street food consists of a sandwich filled with thinly sliced and fried calf spleen and lung, often topped with grated carciovello cheese and a squeeze of lemon. 36. The Goli d'Alcantara, Alcantara Gorges, is a natural wonder carved by the Alcantara River over centuries. Nestled in northeastern Sicily, these gorges showcase magnificent basaltic rock formations that rise up to 50 meters in height. Amidst this dramatic scenery, visitors can often spot various wildlife species, including rare birds like the kingfisher and heron, as well as aquatic creatures such as trout and crayfish. 37. The mountains and hills of Sicily make up 85% of the island. 38. The town of Adrano hosts the annual Nibarata, a snowball fight festival where locals pelt each other with soft cotton balls instead of snowballs. 39. Caponata, a sweet and sour vegetable dish made with eggplant, capers, olives, and tomatoes, is a must-try culinary delight with Arabic origins. 40. Thaisland of Pantelleria, famed for its distinctive Damusi stone houses and volcanic vistas, has been designated as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Exploring Pantelleria unveils a myriad of must-visit spots, the Specchio del Venere, a volcanic crater turned saltwater lake. The Kalagadir coastline impresses with its clear blue waters and unique rock formations. And don't miss the chance to relax in the rejuvenating hot springs of Grotta del Bagno a Ciutu. 41. In Ragusa, you can be fined for stopping your horse-drawn cart in front of a bakery. 42. Sicily is home to several ancient Greek theaters, such as the one in Termina, which still hosts performances and concerts today. 43. Called the Raste, roasted chestnuts sold by street vendors during the colder months fill the air with a tempting aroma and warm the hearts of passers-by. 44. The Isola Bella, affectionately known as the Pearl of the Ionian Sea, lies near Taormina, and it is a breathtaking nature reserve showcasing a rich tapestry of flora and fauna. Connected to the mainland by a narrow sandbar, it encourages nature enthusiasts to explore its pristine shores. Visitors might encounter Mediterranean scrub vegetation and native plant species such as myrtle and dwarf palms. The surrounding crystal-clear waters are home to various marine creatures, including colorful fish, sea urchins, and occasionally even dolphins. 45. In Medica, it's illegal to wash your car with dirty water. 46. Sicilian folk music often includes the use of the tambourine, played by both men and women during traditional festivities and celebrations. 47. In the northwest, the captivating Madoni Mountains offer lush forests, ancient villages, and panoramic hiking trails. Towards the east, the majestic Mount Etna stands as one of Europe's most active volcanoes, contrasting with the fertile plains of Catania. 48. The pastel-hued fishing village of Cavallu charms with its medieval streets and a sandy beach framed by a towering rock. In the south, Marzamani boasts crystalline waters and a vibrant historic center known for its tuna fishing traditions. Scenic Taormina, perched atop cliffs, offers breathtaking views of the Ionian Sea, while the picturesque town of San Vito La Capo boasts a long crescent beach against a backdrop of stunning mountains. 49. Casata Siciliana, a rich and decadent dessert made with a sponge cake, ricotta cheese, candied fruit, and marzipan, is a true delicacy of the island. 50. The traditional Sicilian horse-drawn cart, known as Caretto Siciliano, is an iconic symbol of the island's rural heritage. 51. One of Sicily's fascinating aspects is its unique language, Sicilian, which sets it apart from standard Italian. Reflecting the island's cultural diversity, Sicilian is a delightful blend of influences from Greek, Arabic, and other languages, shaped by centuries of interactions with different civilizations. From phrases like ciao bella that reflect Italian influences to salaku sangu which scream Arabic connections, Sicilian language effortlessly echoes its diverse heritage. 52. The Vendicari Nature Reserve in Sicily is a haven for birdwatching enthusiasts. This coastal reserve spans over 1,500 hectares and provides a crucial resting and nesting area for migratory birds, making it a vital stop along their journey. In this beautiful reserve, you can spot a diverse range of bird species, including flamingos, herons, egrets, and numerous waders. 
53. Sicilian fishing villages like Cefalu and Scaccia offer an authentic taste of coastal life. In Cefalu, the Vriban Harbor hosts colorful fishing boats, and narrow streets lead to majestic northern cathedral. 54. Sicily is home to a variety of archaeological sites, including the Valley of the Temples in Agrigento and the Roman Via in Piazza Armorina. 55. Sicily's traditional clothing has been deeply influenced by the rural nature of the territory and is therefore quite simple and practical. The typical Sicilian women's dress is definitely one consisting of a simple skirt of linen, cotton, or lame that was called a fadeda. Long to the feet, this garment was stopped at the waist with a belt and paired with a petticoat in japuni, a heavy blouse made of the same fabric. To add color to the dress, a handkerchief was placed on the shoulders. The skirt was also paired with a simple apron, and finally, the outfit was ended with blue stockings and classic black shoes. 56. The island is renowned for its traditional ceramics, with towns like Caltigerone and Santa Stefano de Camastra known for their pottery craftsmanship. 57. The vibrant Sagra del Carziofa artichoke festival in Cerda pays homage to the artichoke harvest through a showcase of artichoke-themed dishes and celebrations. Among the culinary highlights are delectable stuffed artichokes, where the tender hearts are filled with a savory mixture of breadcrumbs, herbs, and local cheeses. 58. The Scala Santa in Caltigerone, a monumental staircase with 142 steps, is adorned with colorful ceramic tiles, making it a sight to behold. 59. Nestled at the base of Mount Etna in Sicily, Catania boasts a dynamic nightlife centered around Via del Crozzaferi in Piazza Teatro Massimo. These bustling streets host a vibrant array of cafes, restaurants, and bars that come alive after sunset. The local favorite, La Pescheria, a lively fish market by day, transforms into a hub of evening activity. 60. Sicily's rich heritage includes multiple UNESCO World Heritage Sites, among them the awe-inspiring Via Romana del Casale in Piazza Armorina. This ancient Roman via, dating back to the 4th century AD, boasts an exceptional collection of well-preserved mosaics, captivating visitors with its intricate artistry and historical significance. 61. The Museo Archaeologico Regionale in Palermo hosts an exceptional collection of ancient artifacts, including the Punic ship. This remarkable artifact is the well-preserved remains of a Punic warship discovered near Marsala. Dating back to the First Punic War, 264-241 to BCE, the ship offers valuable insights into ancient naval technology, construction methods, and the maritime history of the Mediterranean. 62. Anyone that wants to visit the largest opera house in Italy can come to Sicily. Teatro Massimo in Palermo is the biggest one, with more than 1,300 seats. The opera house was built in the 19th century, and it is a beauty to look at. 63. Pasta con le sarde, a traditional Sicilian pasta dish made with sardines, wild fennel, raisins, and pine nuts, is a unique and flavorful culinary delight. 64. The enchanting Aulian Islands, a volcanic archipelago off Sicily's northern coast, presents a sailor's paradise and a wonderland for exploring volcanic landscapes. These rugged gems, named after Aeolus, the Greek god of winds, offer mesmerizing beauty and diverse activities. Sailors can glide through crystalline waters, anchoring in sheltered coves surrounded by breathtaking cliffs. Adventurers can hike up to volcanic craters, like Stromboli's fiery peak, to witness awe-inspiring eruptions against a starlit sky. 65. Sicily has been home to many religions, including Islam, Native religions, Judaism, Classical Paganism, Carthaginian religions, and Byzantine Orthodoxy, the coexistence of which has been historically seen as an ideal example of religious multiculturalism. Most Sicilians today are baptized as Catholics. 66. Sicily's impressive Baroque architecture can be admired in cities like Notu, Modica, and Ragusa, which are all UNESCO World Heritage Sites. 67. Sicily's coastline features captivating sea caves and grottoes shaped by waves over millennia, accessible by boat or during low tide. Examples include the Blue Grotto in Capri and Grotta del Bue Marino in Favagnana. Inside, you'll find stunning stalactites, iridescent waters, and mesmerizing play of light. 68. Granita, a refreshing semi-frozen dessert, is a Sicilian specialty served in various flavors like almond, lemon, and coffee, perfect for beating the island's summer heat. 69. The Zingaro Nature Reserve on the northwest coast of Sicily offers breathtaking hiking trails, secluded coves, and a diverse array of plantation, most popular being flora and fauna. 70. Sicily boasts a unique street food culture, and you can't miss trying the famous arancini, delicious deep-fried rice balls filled with various ingredients. 71. 
Sicily is known for its religious feasts. An example of this is the Feast of the Virgin Mary Miracle, which is regarded as one of the biggest religious and folk festivals in the region of Alcamo. The event marks the miracle that happened on 21st June 1547, when it is said that an apparition of the Virgin Mary appeared at the creek north of the city. A legend goes that a group of washerwomen escaped unharmed in the wake of falling stones. After men went to find out what was going on, they found an icon of the Virgin in the rubble of a tiny chapel. The miracle is traditionally celebrated around the days surrounding the 21st. In addition to religious services and worship, there are artistic, cultural, and musical events, as well as a historical parade complete with vintage clothes and decorations. There you have it, Europe's most dangerous island. Don't forget to subscribe and stay curious for more. Which location would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments.